G'day guys, welcome back to the lab. I have a confession to make, I've made a small stuff up. Uh, the filming that I've done earlier on in the week, I've managed to put my great big greasy finger on the lens of the camera at some stage and not noticed. So we've got a late 1980s, the young and the restless, soft imagery thing going on. In other words, it's fuzzy and blurry. Sorry about that. I'll try not to do that again. So in the meantime, I'll run through what I did. So if you don't want to see slightly fuzzy footage, soft footage, shall we call it, then you won't have to. You can watch the first little bit of this video and get on with it. We'll, um, we'll pull back the high horsepower sheet here. And there we go. So it, I actually did this after everything else that I'm going to talk about in the video. But let's, let's do the first bit first. So pulled the snout off the intercooler. Supercharger, sorry. And... Um, welded in the holes and re-drilled it to suit a VK45 DE throttle body and the reason for that I think they're a slightly bigger throttle for a start like a butterfly and it's easier to get hold of one of those and is a VK56 one in New Zealand at least so and then there was a extra hose tail that was welded on underneath by the previous owner didn't like that so I cut it off filled in the hole and he had cut off and welded over um, three three hose tails that Stillen had put in along the bottom underneath the throttle body. So I pulled those out and then re-drilled re um, and re-tapped those to accept a speed flow fitting so we can put AN fittings on there. So after I've done all that and put that together I've made this um, twin three inch into I think it's like 85 mil it's three and a third inch it's a real funny size uh, so I've done that for the customer, he wanted it in a similar style to what we've presented here. This is not quite finished yet. All these welds will need to be ground off and made flush, which is a real shame because I think I did quite a good job with those. They're actually quite nice welds, but that's the way it goes. So we'll either have an airbox system here somewhere on either side, or maybe run an elbow down through perhaps that hole that you can see there. And tuck the filters so I'm not sure if there'd be enough light tuck the filters in behind this panel here basically and put a shroud to stop all the dirt and guff there's heaps of room in there heaps of room we can put a big filter in there and just protect it from the dirt and water and dust and stuff so as you can see from this angle that's um, quite a low profile for that pipe so we won't have any issues with that hitting the bonnet not much room in between that and the front of the car there for a radiator but we've got to build a custom radiator so I'll work around that I'll figure something out that's going to um, it's going to work for all of us so let's roll the crappy footage that I filmed earlier on the week today we're going to stuff around and we're going to put a little flappy valvey airy controlly do flicky thingy there. So this is designed and set up from Stillen to bolt the VK56 DE throttle onto there. We never got that with this engine package. It had a mechanical throttle on it and the wheel that controls the throttle butterfly butterfly was mounted vertically. It was hanging out the top here, the bracket off here somewhere to have the throttle cable etc. This is basically just touching the bonnet or just underneath the bonnet as it is so we can't actually make that work we can't make it higher and it's difficult to make traction control work nicely with the mechanical throttle so since we don't have a vk56 de one we do have a vk45 de one and these are actually slightly bigger than the hole that's in the front of the still supercharger anyway Sorry about that, bump into the car. That's about 70 millimeters or something like that. And in the back of the VK45 throttle is about 73, 74 or something. Slightly bigger anyway. So there'll be no power restriction with running that one. And these are, they're a dime a dozen. There's heaps of VK45s around in New Zealand. There's heaps of them are blown up and the throttle bodies just go forever. So they're really, really easy to get. The VK56 DE ones, a little bit harder. So, for now, we're going to use a 45 one. The only issue with that is, I'm 
not likely to be able to see the holes. I can see the holes. But here's a gasket from the 45. The holes in the supercharger don't quite line up. There's one there. There's one there. Slight misalignment. So I've just got to make some aluminium that's pointed the right spot for you. Make some aluminium studs, wind those in there with Loctite. When the Loctite's set, then I just re drill and re tap to suit. And that's it, done. And from there on, then you just put a 45 throttle body on there if it ever fails, and good as gold. Big noise. What the heck is that? Oh, someone's taking my garage apart from the outside. That's my wife. Wish I'd known she was doing that. Anyway. That's that off there. Don't lose the key. Now we've got to undo all these, pull that off the front of there. Alright, so we've got all the hardware undone that's holding the front of the supercharger on here. Let's call it a snout, that'll do. I've got the hammer of doom, this is the one that flies to pieces all the time. That is apparently not how you take this apart. Oh, you see this. There we go. That's a bit safer, eh? There we go, that's coming apart nicely. Ta da! Woohoo! That bearing's probably not supposed to be. Shush, wifey, we are talking. And here we go, here's our challenge. Make those holes. Line up with those holes. Not that far out, eh? Damn you, Nissan, for changing that just that slightest little bit. Um, one thing of concern, I hadn't really remembered. Previous owner of the setup, or, or maybe even the owner before that, blanked off these ports that Nissan put in here. Sorry, Stillen put in there. Done some debauchery there. Looks like maybe they've been welded up in situ and then ground off or something like that. It's all pretty yucky and added a port on there. So I'm going to tidy all that up. Do a nicer job of that. That's something like that. That's yuck. So one more little task added to the job that we'll get done. So I ran with the alternative method for filling in the holes, the original holes. And obviously I've welded them. So those have been drilled out to about 10 mil, 15 oh. 10 mil it was with a counter sunk on the top kind of thing so buzz buzz zap zap wait for that to cool down clean all the crap off my milling machine and um crap off the bench actually have a clean up and then i can get that onto there and zoom zoom and make it good as new all perfect mint and lovely and actually then i can put the drill chuck in the milling machine and, and drill that in situ as well to get it um, all nice and lovely and beautiful and just like brand new except made for a VK45 throttle instead of a VK56 Radio, little milling machines all cleaned up bench is a little bit tidier and um, obviously I've mounted this in here clamped it all down so that's parallel with that and away we go we hit the magic button there and we can um, we can start doing some milling Go, that'll do for a start. Ooh. 
that's going to get really boring for you guys. So I won't show you the whole deal. By the time we finish that whole face, it's done with a milling machine to start with, see? That whole face will be skimmed and it'll be beautiful. Just like that, we're done. So, obviously, I've drilled and tapped all those holes. And the throttle's now mounted onto the supercharger snout, we're calling it today. So, I might have a look at polishing that up or something, at least the throttle body. And um, we can get that back onto the car. Move on with the next steps repairing what I've just damaged. No, I just didn't hurt it. The, the next thing I guess is to do something with this because that's disgusting. That will cause a problem. What I'm going to do, I will decide after lunch. That's VK56 to VK45D converted still in supercharger snouty thingy as far as the throttle body goes. That extra port that was in here, gone burger. These have now been tapped to accept a 10x1 speed flow adapter. That's where that port was before. Gone burger. So we can put in three AN ports here, one for our purge, one for each bank of um, PVC, pressurized crankcase ventilation, PCB rather and um, that one there is for your brake booster. So that's it, clean that surface there up, ready for some more 3-bond, bolt that